Okay, I am going to walk you through. This is the pre-lab for um, the, this activity, okay, modeling epithelial tissue. So you're going to have this. Um, the sheet has two sides. This is the reverse side. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to do. So obviously, you'll need something to write with. I'm not going to do the writing part, but I'm going to do the modeling part. So you're going to need a container that has several colors of Play-Doh. So my model here uses three colors. Your container may have four colors, but you'll need at least three colors. Okay. Before you start, you should choose one of the colors to use consistently as the basement membrane so you don't forget. So me, I'm just going to use blue basement. Um, so that makes sense. Remember, basement membrane, that's like um, a bunch of protein fibers and helps to connect the epithelial tissue with the connective tissue underneath it. All right. So it says for each model, so just right here. It says for each model, I have to include the nu a nuclei for each cell, the basement membrane, and the number of cells indicated. So here's my first type, okay? And you can see it tells me right here how many cells. So I only need to have one cell here for simple squamous. So I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna make a basement membrane. And I wanna make the basement membrane thin. Okay, the basement membrane is not something that is thick. So I'm going to spread out and make basement membrane. This may be more than I need, but I could use it with um, another model. Okay, so now I'm going to take yellow, a little bit of yellow. I'm going to make my squamous cell. Now my squamous cell is flattened, but it's irregularly shaped. Think about it, it kind of looks a little bit like a fried egg. Okay but it is flat and kind of an irregular shape, okay? Sort of fried egg-like. So I'm gonna do my best, kind of get an irregular shape, okay? That's fairly good, okay? Now I'm going to place my cell on top of the basement membrane, okay? And then I'm just gonna trim off the edges of the basement membrane. So here, I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trimming around here, the edges. All right, so you can see my simple squamous cell on top of the basement membrane. The last thing that I need to show on this though is a nucleus. So I need a kind of flattened nuclei to put on this cell, All right? There we go. So simple squamous flattened cell with a basement membrane and a nuclei. I had to show one. So as I have working in class, this is going to go right here. There is my first mop, okay, right here. Now, if you see next, uh, simple cuboidal, and again, I'm going to model one cell. So I'm going to be consistent with color. So what I'm going to do this time is take some of the white, the not the white, the um, yellow, which I used for the cell last time, and I'm going to kind of make a cube. All right, so there we go. There's a cube. I need to have, remember, on the bottom, I need to have a basement membrane. So I need some thin blue, okay, to go here on the bottom to represent that basement membrane, okay? But I'm not finished because what else do I need? Well, remember, I need to have a nuclei. So I use kind of red to show that. There we go, and it tends to be right about uh, the center of the cell. So there we have a simple squamous, a simple cuboidal. Now for you, when you're doing yours, you have all this information to fill out over here after you finish, okay? You're gonna do all the modeling first. So I'm gonna set these aside. Remember, this was my simple cuboidal. This was my simple squamous, but now I need to look at the back of the paper. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so we're ready for the back of the paper. So first up here, I have simple columnar. Okay, so I'm going to use the same color for the cell to be consistent. This time, instead of forming it into a cube, OK, 
okay? I am going to form it into like a um, rectangular shape, like a tall column. Okay, so like this here, see my, this is my cuboidal. Here's my columnar. So you can see the difference clearly. So here's my columnar. Okay, again, it says I only need one cell. But what do I always need at the bottom of epithelial tissue? We need a basement membrane. So there we go. All right, basement membrane. But not finished, what else do I need? I need a nuclei. And again, that's going to tend to be toward the center. Well, even if it's not exactly at the center, sometimes it tends to be lower. But it would, if we had multiple cells, they would all be neatly arranged. So be a bunch of columnar epithelial cells that look exactly like this all in a row. So here's our simple columnar epithelium. Okay, next we have stratified squamous. This is the first one where it says I have to model five cells. Okay, but stratified means layers. So I need those five cells, not all spread out on um, one uh, against the basement membrane, I'm going to stack them. All right, so here is uh, my basement membrane. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to make uh, um, five different cells. Okay, now the thing about stratified um, squamous is um, they're not going to be as flat um, on the layer that attaches to the basement membrane. So you can see as I put them on, they're still flattened, okay? Um, but sometimes they even appear more um, cuboidal in shape as they are close to the basement membrane. But the layers at the very top should very clearly be um, squamous, all right? So there's our first layer. I'm just going to trim this little edge here for the basement membrane. All right, so there's layer one, but I cannot forget that these um, cells require a nucleus, all right? Every cell requires um, a nucleus that we're building today. Okay. So there is three cells, okay? Now I'm going to add two more cells on top and I'm going to kind of get these to be a little flatter as I move up, okay? So otherwise, if I don't make them in layers, it's not gonna show it as stratified. So here we go, here's this one, but I need a flattened nuclei here, okay? And then I need another cell on top, okay? That would give me five cells, okay? And again, I need that nuclei. Each cell has to have a nucleus. All right, so there is a representation of my stratified Squamous. You can see on the top, those cells are very flattened. They might be a little bit less flattened closer to the basement membrane, but that's exactly how it should look. Something similar, okay? So you can see I've got three on the bottom, two on the top. You could do yours differently and stack all five. That's totally fine. All right, and now we have pseudo stratified. This one I have to model three cells. When you think of pseudostratified, you should think of columnar, okay? So I'm gonna need to build three cells and basically I wanna make three um, columnar shaped cells. So I'm just gonna start with a general framework of three uh, columnar shaped cells, okay? So basic format, one more. Again, three columnar shaped cells. I kind of didn't grab enough Play-Doh for that one. All right, but when I line these up, they're gonna kind of, some are gonna be a little bit more narrow and be a little wider at the top. Some are gonna be a little bit more squashed at the bottom. Okay, they're gonna be kind of all different shapes, okay, like this, but they're all going to sit on top of the basement membrane, which is how I know this is not stratified, even though when I put the nuclei, it's going to have an appearance of being stratified. So there's my basement membrane, okay? And I need my nuclei. Here's the important thing. When you put the nuclei for the pseudo-stratified, they should not 
absolutely not be in a straight line because that is why sometimes people get confused with pseudostratified and think it's stratified because the nuclei aren't in a nice neat row okay do you see that pseudostratified okay all attached to the basement membrane that's how i know it's one layer although it's confusing because the nuclei don't line up okay and there we had finished the back of the paper so then you would uh, take pictures um, of both sides with your models and complete the assignment so let's just review this was simple squamous this was simple cuboidal okay this was simple columnar this was stratified squamous and this was pseudo stratified also called pseudo stratified columnar okay so now if i've taken all my pictures and i'm done what i'm going to need to do is re-separate out the colors so here i have um, the red the blue and the yellow okay, i'm going to want to separate them out for each of the models there is the red, I'm going to separate out yellow, blue, there's another piece of red, another piece of red, okay, there's red, part of my red rolled away, blue, okay, whatever your colors are, you're going to separate these all, this is the one that may be a little bit more stuck, there we go, I got it, yellow and blue, and there's the red, the blue, and the yellow. Okay, now here's the Play-Doh that I started with. So I'm just gonna take the yellow, combine it back together. I only use little bits of the red, combine that back with the red that I had, and take the blue, and combine that with the blue that I have. Then I would take all of these pieces and return them back to the Play-Doh container. If you had four colors, again, you would return your four colors. And there you have it. That is how you do the modeling epithelial tissue.